How many plugins do you actually need in order to make music? And are there some plugins you simply must have? Well, keep watching, and I'll let you know what I think about the matter. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. There are countless VST and effect plugins out there. Some are expensive and some are free. Some people say that you need to have this or that plugin in order to make proper music. And as a beginner, all of these various options can be quite confusing. It's not always the case that the most expensive plugins are the best ones. There are many really good free ones out there too. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter what kind of VST or effect plugin you use. They all basically do the same things. Some have more features than others, but that doesn't really matter if you don't really need those features. At the end of the day, you'll be able to make great music with all of them. Even the stock plugins that come with your DAW should enable you to make a real banger as long as you know how to properly use them. One of the mistakes I see people make is that they get a hold of as many plugins as possible, thinking that more is always better. This isn't necessarily the best approach. It's much better to have one VST that you really know inside and out than having 50 different ones that you don't know anything about. The same goes for effect plugins. Generally, it's better to stick with a few simple effect plugins and learn how to use them properly. Once you get comfortable with how they work, then you can try out some new and more advanced plugins. Trying to learn countless plugins at the same time will usually just create confusion. It's better to learn one plugin at a time. It's natural to start out with the stock plugins, but after a while, you'll typically want to move on to third party plugins. There are some really good ones out there, and people use them for good reason. Another benefit of having a third party VST is the vast number of presets available. If you buy Serum or Silenth, for example, there will be countless sound banks available for those. The good thing about presets is that oftentimes you'll find that the sounds themselves can inspire you immensely. I've heard many professionals say that they were just browsing through some presets and then they had a certain sound and voila, the whole track just suddenly came together. Presets can often inspire creativity. Don't listen to people who say that you shouldn't use them and that it's cheating unless you make the sounds yourself. That's just nonsense. It's just a myth that professionals never use presets. In the end, it doesn't matter if you spend two hours synthesizing a sound from scratch or if you find one that's basically identical in a sound bank. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that your track sounds great. The listeners don't care about how you made the track. They only care about how it sounds. Also, keep in mind that there's a difference between synthesizers and romplers. A VST, such as Silenth, can synthesize a sound from scratch. A rompler, on the other hand, is playing back sampled sounds. This is great when you want real sounding instruments such as cellos, strings, guitars, and such. A good example of a rompler would be Nexus.
Most professional producers have access to at least one rampler in addition to their synthesizers. So, to sum it up, start out with a few VSTs and or ramplers that you really like, as well as a few effect plugins, and learn those really well. Don't make the mistake of getting a whole bunch of plugins that you'll never use. As you get more proficient, you'll actually end up with more plugins, and your favorite plugins will therefore inevitably change from time to time. I'd like to thank our Patreons for their ongoing support, and as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out the links below if you need feedback on your music, mastering, and so on. Thanks for watching.